Welcome back, everybody. It is February of 2024, and this is episode 62 of What is on My Desk. Here we are, everybody, back for another one of my monthly What is on My Desk updates. And this will be a relatively short one in all respects. I don't have any new products to show you, no new, no new reviews or books or anything like that. We're going to just get moved right over to the desk. We'll take a look at the progress. There has been progress, and I'm very happy with the progress this time around. So let's get over there. We'll take a look at what I managed to get done in the past month. And as always, my name is Sean, and this is Sean's Aviation. desk time to take a look at the progress on the models uh, as i mentioned i don't have any new um new kits or products or anything to show off at this point uh maybe next month however i do have progress on the kits i'll start it's gonna be a bit of a, uh, a different order uh this month i'm gonna start kind of with the least finished and work my way up to the most finished um I, I just feel like that's a good way to do it this month so let's take a quick look we'll start with the avro lincoln and there has been progress on it. Uh, you'll see the fuselage is one monolithic piece. This was one of those mental leaps that I really needed to prepare for because there's really no going back uh, once you glue it together. But I'm at the point now where I'm kind of starting to need to be at this point in order to move forward. Um, <clears throat> I've been working on a number of seams. I've got a little bit more putty. The windows that were here, um, if you remember, the glass wasn't in place. I had to cut the clear part out in order for the uh, uh, resin insert to fit in place. Uh, so there's quite a bit of sinkage in there. I put super glue, uh, hit it with a bit of the baking powder, let it set, and then I'm filling it with putty. But as the putty dries, it shrinks. So I keep getting sinkholes forming where that window is. So it's taken quite a bit for it to um, fill up. It looks like probably one more layer of putty after this one i can just see the a little bit of the sinkage there so once i get that sanded down i'm suspecting it'll be one more layer of putty there and that should be good the rest of it is looking really really good what that means is once i get that done i am going to go along this is where the bombay meets the upper fuselage it's not so bad on this side but on this side there's a bit of a gap i'm going to fill that with um some um Mr. Surfacer, fill that on both sides, Mr. Surfacer, clean that up. Um, and then there's this, 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 I don't even know what it's for. There's a raised edge, a raised bit. You can just see the outline of it back here. I'm going to replace that with thin plastic card because in areas it's been sanded down and disappeared. So I'm going to, I'm going to add another piece of plastic card just on top of that to make sure it, it's, it's very prominent and easy to see. And then, um, yeah. I'll probably put a seam down under here with it just to hide that little seam. So this piece here will, will follow the shape of the wing. There'll be a seam. This piece will shape and it'll just hide. I might even blend it off under here and leave a little bit of a gap where you're not going to see. Um, I don't know yet. But either way, um, if there's going to be from here underneath and from here back, it's going to look good. And if there's going to be any nonsense, it's going to be down underneath here. But once I get um, this putty all cleaned up, all of these seams and everything cleaned up, and I'm going to probably glue that on next and then I can Mr. Surfacer any of the edge to make sure it looks nice and good. And then um, one more coat of primer just to make sure everything looks good. This one piece of tape back here keeps peeling and I'm not happy with it. But anyways, I'll probably have to get another piece of tape there to hold that down. Anyways, um, where was I? Sand this, clean this up, in install that piece of plastic strip, um, Mr. Surfacer all of these little gaps. One more coat of primer just to make sure everything looks good. And then I need to start rescribing. And the nose is going to be the hardest because there's this really tight um, hash take pattern, which I think goes back to about the wing where the fuselage break is. And then it changes to a different wider pattern farther back. But I'll have to go through and just scribe. Luckily, I have some of the lines on this resin insert I can use to extend them all out. So I'll have to find, there's probably a, ver a vertical line in here somewhere. I'll mask the vertical line. There's a first, wherever there's a vertical line. 
and then I'll start working on the horizontals and do those long straight horizontals and just rescribe all of this. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to look better than it currently does. And that's the fuselage. Now we look at the wings and the wings have had a lot of progress on them as well. Uh, you can see I've been doing quite a bit of sanding and cleanup in here to, uh, to get it as ready as possible for paint. Um, the nacelles for the most part are in and they look good. Again, a coat of putty is what I need to really make sure everything is final. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the current status of the wings. And then I also have, they're all hidden down here. All of the nacelles have been assembled. Uh, they need a bit of putty around the edges, but these are all ready to more or less be glued on um, the front of those. So I gotta do some putty around the edge of this and then glue them on and then putty around the edge of this get those ready to go. And I mean, really, between what I just talked about on the fuselage and then getting these nacelles installed and glued on and sanded and blended into place, once that's done, that's, other than scribing, that's it. It's pretty much ready for paint after that. So I'm at a really good spot on this right now. I'm, I'm, it's one of those moments where I kind of was picking away at things and then I stopped and I looked at where I was and I realized you know, like, wait a minute, this is almost ready for paint. And you don't actually kind of realize how far ahead you're getting until you take that second to stop and, and look. Um, but yeah, like there's, there's the four engines installed and then the fuselage, which, you know what, I'm, let's try to assemble it. I haven't actually put it all together like this in a while. There we go. Get that to... Now, the only thing I haven't really done with the tails, the vertical tails are actually done. They're in the box. I did those a while ago. The horizontal stabs I haven't started with yet, but I'm thinking what I'll do is once I'm, once, now this is, this is probably a months in the future, but once I get everything done and scribed and ready for paint, I'm probably going to glue the horizontal stabs on, paint it with the horizontal stabs in place, glue the vertical stabs on at the end, and I'm, I'm gonna paint the wings separate and I'll just glue the wings together. The seams along the wings aren't bad and I can live with them. So I think that's gonna be how I do it. I'm going to paint the wings, the camouflage, decal it all separate and then just glue the wings together after everything is painted. Um, but yeah, it's, it's starting to get there. I can start to see the finished product and I'm very excited with how this is coming along. Um, it's gonna look really good on the shelf with the Lancaster I have. There's a World War II Mark II, a post-war Mark X, and now a, a, a post-war Lincoln. The only Canadian-built post-war Lincoln. Um, I think it's going to be a really cool look. So anyways, I'm very happy with the progress on this. Uh, very excited. I still have quite a bit of work to go, so I'll even like the, the time-lapse video won't be out probably for a little while because I'm still not ready for paint. There's still that all of that extra work i just said all of the scribing all of that i want to get done as part of the part one video so I've still got a whale to go with that looking at the uh, f82e um, it is ready for paint it is literally ready for paint um, the uh, time lapse video for this as of the time of filming is actually complete i believe it comes out right after this video comes out it comes out early february so keep your eye out for part one of the time lapse build of, uh, of this um, f82e my next step is to paint it uh, aluminum. I'm just gonna use the uh, Vallejo aluminum. I'm not gonna worry about Alclad or anything. I'm 99% sure these were painted in an aluminum lacquer anyways in real life. So I'm gonna paint the whole thing aluminum and then I'm gonna seal it and make sure that that aluminum paint doesn't get scratched or dulled or anything. And then I can go over it and work on the blue and the white wing tips and the, the stripes and, and all that fun stuff. I'll deal with that after it's all, uh, it's all sealed and then I can finish it off and get it ready. So it's all, it's looking really good. I've got the base um, set, so it's gonna mount into this hole. So I've got the, the proper angle that I wanna have it displayed at is, is figured out. Um, it's actually holding itself up at the angle I wanna display it at. So that's ready to go. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just, like I said, I gotta get painting on that. Uh, but yeah, um, I've made quite a bit of progress. And it's one of those things where you just get to a point where all of a sudden progress starts to go fast because you pick away at all the little things and all of a sudden it just starts flying. And speaking of, no, no pun intended by the way, um, moving on to the F82, it's even farther along. The F82G is even farther along than the E and I'm so excited. You probably can see the wingtip sticking out. It is painted. 
Um, I, I actually finished painting this, painted it literally yesterday and this morning I did some of the highlights. I don't know how well they show up on, on, the, on the camera, but I've done some highlights. It's, um, I pre-shaded it, painted it dark gray, and then I added just a little bit of white to the dark gray, and I kind of went through and highlighted some panels and just lightened things up a little bit. Once this gets, uh, I'm going to seal it very, very soon, um, uh, just because I want to make sure, again, I don't ruin this paint, get it sealed, and then I can go along and deal with things like the, the decals, the weathering, all that kind of stuff. Really, next it's going to be seal, and then this is ready for decals uh, after it's uh, sealed. Like I'm probably going to start pulling out these uh, the masking of the wheel wells. They don't need to be there anymore. The cockpits will need to be weathered until after I flat coat it. Um, but I can pull the masking out of the wheel wells and whatnot. So that's pretty much ready. The uh, the radar pod needs a little bit of work. I just did a quick, I hit it with a quick shot of black. I was painting something black. I honestly don't remember what I was painting. Anyways, I was painting something. It's not the dark gray. It's actually black. I don't know. If I remember. For the life of me, I don't remember what I was painting. But anyways, I had it set up with some black paint and I hit this with a coat of um, black just to see what it looks like. It looks really good, to be honest, considering what it looked like before. There's just a little bit of cleanup with some of the panel lines I want to go through. And then I'll paint this later. Luckily, because I haven't like, custom mixed a color, it's just this, this German Panzer dark gray. I can just paint it at any point down the line and then it's going to get glued in on the very, very end. It's probably going to get glued on right before the props get glued on. Um, just so I don't have to worry about um, um, it getting knocked off at any point. I'll probably just glue that on, then I'll glue the props on, and it's finished. Um, so that's going to be one of the last things that gets glued on. But you can start to see it's looking really, really good, and I'm very excited. The canopies are all done. Again, i got to hit that with a flat coat, um, which I'll do at the very end, and then I can pull the masking off those and get those installed. I'm super happy. Um, I, I can't tell you how happy I am with this, considering all the work. Now, it's not perfect. I mean, I. Whew, this is one of the reasons why I want to seal it as well. This this dust just gets stuck in all the paint, and then it's hard to knock it out. So I got to seal this so it's, it's, it becomes smooth. Anyways, it's not perfect. There are still some issues with wing roots, some seams. It's just you'd be fighting yourself forever to clean it all the way up. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not a hundred percent, but it's good enough for me. And I decided to just go with it. Once you get it decaled and weathered and all that fun stuff, things like that, unless you get up really close and you know what you're looking for, they're not going to detract from the model. It's going to look good. It's going to show what it is. And, and you're not really going to... Most people aren't going to walk up and be like, there's a panel line there. They're not going to notice that. They're going to stand three feet away and be like, oh my God, that looks so great. And that's what I aim for. So that's the F-82. Finally, the Mosquito, and it has also been painted. I actually finished this this morning, did the final coat of the, 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 the dark gray. And what was left in the airbrush, I lightened, and that's when I did the highlights on both kits. So on this one, I didn't really highlight anything that's wood. I only highlighted the areas that would have been made out of metal, um, just because of the way metal and wood will weather differently. And then the, the fabric rudder has been picked out, so things like that just to give it some variation. And then I'm gonna weather again, exhaust stain will be heavy on this. And I have a special treatment I wanna do on the exhaust covers to really show the heat damage uh, on that. So that's gonna happen down the road. But yeah, that's all been done. All the little, the gear doors, the bomb bay doors, all of that's been painted. So again, I can start pulling off the masking out of these wheel wells, get all that out. And again, the next step on this is gonna be a clear coat and then it's ready for decals and then weathering flat coat, well, weathering and then exhaust staining and then flat coat. So both of the F-82G and the Mosquito are pretty much ready to go for decals. That F-82E, as I said, still has a bit of work. That's the aluminum paint. Then I got to seal it. Then I got to paint the blue noses and some white detail and then seal it again. And then it'll be ready for decal. So I'm going to get that worked on and get ready. I'm going to start decaling them all at the same time. So it will take a bit of time to get there. And then, um, I, a couple more months and these are going to be finished and I can get onto the next round of builds. I already have on that stage, then the updates for the channel, as I mentioned. Uh, so after I get these finished next couple of months, I already have my next round of kits selected. I got three more that I'll be starting, plus I'll be finishing off the Lincoln. So that's kind of uh, the next plan through the summer. Uh, in terms of videos, as I mentioned, I've got the time lapse for both the uh, F82G and the Mosquito are completed. Both are due out in February. I'm working on 
the uh, time lapse for the F82E. Uh, they do take quite a while to put together, so I got to get that one wrapped up. It's probably going to be late February, early March before it gets scheduled. And until then, I still have a whole bunch of some built model videos as well as some of the Airshow London videos. And then I also have the Aero Gatno video, some specific acts um, that will be put together and will eventually be released as little standalone videos uh, for each air show. So those are going to come out and that should get me through without any issue until June when I start going to air shows again and reset that. So we're moving right along. Things are looking good. Um, I don't really have anything else. Like I mentioned, there was an impulse buy of a new model that will be introduced next month. And uh, we'll, we'll come back next month and see where we are. So on that note, everybody, thank you for watching. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time.